Jesus' disciples ask them to teach them how to pray. But I want to give you six steps that's in the Lord's Prayer. Step one, address God's rightful place as the Father. Step two, worship and praise God for who he is and all that he has done. Step three, acknowledge that it is God's will and plan or in control and not our own. Step four, ask God for things that we need. Step five, confess our sins and repent. Step six, request protection and help in overcoming sin and Satan's attack on us. As you read, you know, the scriptures, let it soak into your heart and begin to talk to Jesus and talk to God honestly and openly. He created you, love you, and want to hear from you. Use the Lord's Prayer as a way to talk through communications with God, and you'll be blessed. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal the land. We ought to always pray and not faint. First John 1 John 1.9 If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive you, will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. James 5, chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be uh, healed. The prayers of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Psalm 145, chapter, verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Proverbs fifteen twenty nine. The Lord is for far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. God hear your prayers no matter where you at. If you're righteous, you know, if you if you're a sinner, come into Christ. Ask him to come in your life, he'll save you and change your life. Be blessed from this message. I just wanted to